Hey guys, Chuk here with Chuk's Outdoor Adventures. Well, it's bear hunting season. It is spring bear hunting season in Alaska, full effect. And I wanted to share my buddy Mike's hunt with you guys. Um, now, one of the advantages of growing up here in Alaska is um, a lot of my buddies from high school would do some cool things and they're always hunting and fishing stuff like my friend uh, Kale and Mike. And so I just stay in touch with those guys. The other guys that aren't hunting, I don't know what they're doing. I think they're doing cross stitching or something at home uh, with their wives. Um, but anyways, um, super excited for him. He is still hunting right now. Um, and actually, when you guys see this Saturday morning, I will actually be on my coastal bear hunt. So uh, he had a signal, so I've been in contact with him and he was kind enough to let me share some of his hunt. Um, so he is in a coastal area. I'm not going to give away exactly where he is, um, but he has the advantage of a boat. Him and his uh, buddy Roger, I think, had a boat. I'm not going to have a boat, but I am, in a hot, I am going to a hot spot where I got my bear last year where I feel the bears are kind of funneled down to this field on the beach. Um, so I, I'm still pretty hopeful that Chuck and I are going to get a bear. Um, but uh, Mike had a boat. Um, and so when you've got a boat in coastal Alaska, it's much easier. You can cruise in and you spot lots of bears. That's what makes it so exciting. I went out with my cousin once and we spotted 11 bears, 13 bears in just a couple hours uh, in some of these areas. Um, but it's not that easy. They had some problems. Uh, they, they didn't get a couple bears they wanted um, because of the wind changing. And, you know, creeping up even on a little zodiac from the big boat, the wind changes, the bear smells them and just takes off. Uh, they also had some trouble, and this has happened to me, identifying the right bear. A big bear comes out, they got excited, and his friend shot a bear and it ended up being smaller. He, you know, he didn't get the big huge bear that was just on the beach. He got another bear that was smaller, so they were disappointed by that. But anyways, uh, they each got a black bear, and now they're going for brown bears. So as I'm speaking right now, he's got a couple days left. Um, and when he's done with his hunt, I'll just be heading out for mine. But anyways, here's the, here's the hunt. And um, I was excited for this because he used his 338 Win Mag, and that's one of the rifles that I have. Uh, Mike reloads a lot, but he's been so busy with work and getting ready for this hunt, he didn't have time to reload anything. So uh, he said he used a 225 grain Barnes TTSX, I believe, is what he said. Um, and and I'm, I'm big on Vortex, but uh, Chuck really likes Barnes, and I, I'm thinking about trying it. I'm probably going to switch over to Barnes because I've just heard such good things about it. But the shot he took was at 100 yards. Now, some places um, you're allowed to shoot from the boat. You just can't have the engine on. In this particular coastal area, you could not be in the boat at all. So he got out and uh, he was crotch deep in water. His hip hip boots were all hip waders were all full of water. And he took this bear at a hundred yards. Um, and then you get to hear the death moan. I apologize for that, but that's real life. That's the the sound a bear makes, and it's kind of eerie. Uh, I've heard it before, and you never forget it once you hear that sound. So, anyways, here's the rest of the footage of Mike's hunt. And please wish me luck. I'm very excited to be hunting uh, this weekend, even though it's mainly going to be me and the kids having fun in camp. Uh, I might get something close to camp, uh, but hopefully Chuck will get something. Uh, but it's, it's bear season right now, and our freezers are empty, so uh, we need some bear meat. So thanks, guys. I got a lot of new gear and so the 270 rifle to test out, so we'll see what happens. Um, I'm going to try to do my live stream Sunday, possibly from the camp. Uh, and I'll have one, uh, I'll keep doing live streams. But anyways, uh, please check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. Thanks, guys. It's Chu, your friend in the field. He's out of the boat. shoot ourselves a bear.
it's turned the wrong way. And there's the death moon. Out of adventure!